I'm going to do a walk around on the uh, Kraken from flight test. This is the FT Kraken. It is, first I'm going to show you how big the silly thing is. Right here. Look at this. I can hide behind it. Isn't that something? I wish I was that tall. Okay. I think this is the world's largest paper FPV airplane. Because basically this is foam board and this is all just paper right here. Okay? And it's held together with hot glue and lots of tape. It has two, I'll put them in the description. 22-16-8, 1250-KV Sunny Sky Motors. And I'll tell you what, these things are sweet, smooth. We were flying it, and it was maintaining altitude with, what, four and a half amps mm -hmm. for two motors. That's crazy. Craziness. Okay, huge Elevons. Huge. Now on the Elevons, I coated these silly things with uh, with laminating film to make them a little stiffer. Now they're pretty heavy, but it seems the, the servos hold it uh, pretty good. I got uh, a 10-4 slow fly props on it, and it's counter rotating. The props turn this way. The top of the propellers turn toward the inside. I don't know whether it makes any difference or not, but I wanted to do that. This thing's had a uh, shaded pass and it just had its maiden today. The first time I flew it, it just did not want to fly. So we've had to do a lot of figuring out what was wrong with it. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over and show you what the bottom side of it looks like because this, uh, this is the belly of the beast right here. This is full FPV. Here's my board camera right here. Okay. And inside here, I got it where I can peel it off and adjust it, is the FY31 AP and the Hornet. This is the auto the OSD and this is the autopilot right here. And we had it like this right here, but it was one that go nose down in, in uh, auto level. So we, all we did was bring it up and put it up against on top of that uh, popsicle stick right there, and that fixed it. So don't have to worry. I got it so I can take it off and adjust it if I if I need to, and I've backed the uh, the gains off of it a little bit. Um, all the wirings inside the wing, quite a bit of wiring here for the autopilot. And this is a 5,000 milliamp three cell, and I think we flew about 15, 18 minutes on it, maybe a little longer. And I can't wait to fly it at night because inside the wing, as they suggested, I've got a loop of LED lights that go clear around the spar on both sides. And they're separate, and I can adjust the colors and the frequency that they come on and off, and it is a freaky looking thing at night, I tell you. I'll do a video on it and just show you what it looks like at night. Flying it with Dragon Link. Okay, here's the bottom of the Dragon Link antenna. And I'm flying it with my homemade uh, quarter wave antenna right here. This is the video signal. Comes down this wire, goes into a 1.3, and I'm flying it on 1258 right now. And with a patch antenna, it flies great. I don't think these are 9 gram servos. They're a little heavier than that. I wanted to put a bigger servo in it, but this, the wing is so skinny right there that I put these in, and they actually hit on the other side of the wing. So that's about as tall a one you put in, unless you put them in the other way. But these servos are stronger if you put them in like this. Had to give it quite a bit of reflex. And this, they put holes in a plane where the CG is, my smiley face right here. And it seems to be right on the money. It took a lot of figuring to get that out, to get that uh, CG right. But now, boy, you flip that auto level on and the thing just floats. 
and this thing will fly with very little throttle at all. It's a six, seven, eight mile an hour wind up high today, maybe a little more. And I was just hovering in it at virtually no throttle. It was holding altitude just perfectly. I will put a uh, command center recording on so you can see what it looks like. Now it hasn't been without a few difficulties. It has its own uh, its own little badge of honor right here. Got a little ding in it already. But because it's paper and foam it just bounced. It, the, uh, the bean field out here swallowed it up a while ago. But uh, it's okay. It just wanted the taste of the beans. It's not a fast flyer. In fact, it's a real slow flyer. I would not really think this would be a long range plane, but it'd be a really great, fun way to take some pictures in close and have a good time with FPV. This is the FT Kraken. Great plane. And I think maybe this might be the first one flying. I got this one uh, by being a small sponsor at the flight test uh, fly-in that they had. And uh, man, I love it. More later. Uncle Deke out.